Hey guys, welcome to another adventurous episode of Rabbit Motorworks. Here's our first kickoff video of the Cutlass. And of course it's gonna be some cleanup. So Junior and I are starting to mix up a little bit of Dawn dishwashing detergent just to see what it'll do. So already he's getting some pretty cool results. But yeah, we got a, other adventures going on. We got a little bit of a mouse house inside of the glove box. And we're definitely gonna do some uh, cleanup of the interior and just to try to take a layer off of it. It's got kind of that old old car smell to it. And the bonus is, is we got a free timing light with the car. So stay tuned to this episode as we'll get into doing some cleaning. Hey guys, so it's time to put the mouse house, it's time to vacate the mouse house. They're gonna go find someplace else to live. So in extra masks from our current situation. Here we go, let's get this crud out of here. Yuck. I don't even know what that's from. What's in here? Whoa, look at it. Cool, dude, look at it. The owner's manual. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's get the camera on that. Okay, let's get the camera right here. Hold that. So we got the owner's manual on the registration. And we got. The map of Greater Miami. Miami? What's Miami? <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. It looks like a sticker for something. Sticker with a bad plate. Yeah, and then some other documentation. Wow, this is a gold find. This is really awesome. And Washington, D.C. That's cool. All right, so there's some nastiness in there, and hey, there's the missing fender trim too. Fantastic. Clean it. Yeah, we're gonna clean it for sure. Okay, mouse house, they've been exterminated, vacated. So I think we'll let the vacuum take care of that. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. this is our gold mine of stuff. The original owner's manual. City map of Miami, West Virginia. Those look like some original registration documents. I don't know what that is. Another map of Washington, D.C. Okay, that's cool. This is in somewhat good condition. So, awesome. All right. So, Yay. All right, and Junior's been testing on the panel there and already brought some of it back. So that's awesome. Okay, let's get the back. Start sucking things up. <laughs> okay, the mouse house is gone. What else we got in here? So that's good. This is gonna have to get re-glued. Uh, ice scraper. Don't need that. Junior's doing it. Your water's getting kind of dirty there. Maybe it's time to upgrade to a bigger thing now that your test is done. Maybe we could do some vacuuming. He's just having fun. So this timing light, man, that thing's heavy. It's a Penske with a push button. That's old school, all right. Just a static, but uh, I bet it works. That's an awesome piece of history there. So, 
All right, and a bonus tire iron. Cool. Um, I tried to get into the trunk too, and uh, I still need the key. Yeah, I was talking with the owner, and she's gonna send me the original uh, set of keys that she found for the car too, so that's awesome. Um, so let's take these mats out and do some vacuuming of the back and uh, front. An old t-shirt that came with the car. Ooh, more mouse housing going on here too. God, I hope they're in the back of the seats maybe. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Holes up in here. We'll see. Yikes. All right. The adventure continues. Hey guys, so been lots of cleaning and scrubbing, but I think you can see things in the interior are starting to come around. And the big thing has just been, you know, taking everything with like a wash wet rag of Dawn and some warm water just to get the layer of dirt off. But um, definitely showing some results, at least uh, to be able to live with it, because um, all that dirt is, uh, you know, definitely toxic to breathe in. But I think it's give you a better look at the interior. The passenger side floor carpeting is all tore up, which is kind of expected. The um, the seats are kind of ripped up, but they're not uh, horrible. Uh, work with for a while and I did roll the back windows down too just to give that uh, that look for the uh, the hard top as well too so it's pretty cool and uh, yeah okay guys so the last thing we're gonna do with the interior is then uh, use some this spray away glass cleaner it's really good stuff uh, it's got foaming action so We'll hit the inside of the glass and uh, use it probably a roll of paper towels in the process too. But that'll get another layer of uh, schmegma off the windows as well too. So. Go. Now it's time to wash the car. Yep. 
this because you've never seen us watch the tar. And I know that tar is going to be really between when you see it the next time. Okay, so that's a quick rinse off. And what's really cool is how it's starting to bring out that sienna brown uh, just by getting it wet. So that kind of shows off some of the look of the car. It's just, uh, you throw water on something and it kind of takes the oxidation away really quick. But um, okay, let's get some soap on it. so that is the wash and I don't know if you saw my time-lapse but uh, just to give you an idea of how much some of the oxidized paint came off I'm sure it hasn't been washed in a while uh, and it's got a lot of oxidized paint on it but uh, the cool thing is as you can see some of this color come out in the uh, as the Sun's going down it's definitely got a really cool hue to it and uh, the other thing is you're starting to get a better understanding of the, the body and uh, any of the, the issues with it. So there's a little bit of a ding here. That quarter's pu pushed out a little bit. A little bit of a dent there. The hood's pretty good, all intact. The chrome is starting to come up a little bit. Definitely the bumpers will need to be re-chromed. And then of course, this is Definitely had some issues there. A little bit of door ding there, a couple of little skitters there. But yeah, at least it's starting to have that look now. So it's very nice. And uh, it's becoming a little bit more cleaner to deal with as we start working on things. But if you're gonna do a project, it's much easier staying cleaner, right? If we don't have to work with a dirty car all the time. Yeah. Totally. Well, thanks everybody for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, consider subscribing. We're gonna do much more on this project along with other projects on the channel. Uh, and yeah, right? Yeah. Cool, peace guys.